Hello, YouTube. Goodbye, Wikipedia. Um, I've actually been told now. Oh God, you can see it. Eyelash. Yeah, that's pretty uh, long. Get that one. I haven't been long up sometimes, but um, Wikipedia. Uh, the final word on why I was kicked from Wikipedia is because I dared challenge who was editing the article on Aria Fredlow Manor. And because I dared challenge this, this was the final reason given to me for being banned from Wikipedia for life. Because I asked the unaskable question. Who is it that is doing this editing? And what are their motives for doing it? Now, I made the statement that in my opinion, looking at the user pages, this is information gained from the user pages which is freely available to anyone that wants to look up the users that were attacking my wish to add information about the UFO investigations at RAF Redlow Manor. Now, looking at these user pages for user ALR and also another user who came very quickly to the aid of user ULR was that there were two things in common. First was both of the parties had a military background. Second, both were Freemasons. So, a Freemason coming to the aid of a fellow Freemason. Now, the reason that has been given for me being kicked from Wiki is because I harassed these other users. Now, as I stated before, harassment from these users in the form of them making statements saying that the information I was providing was non-factual, i.e. not backed up, right? So that was a, a, a falsehood, that was a lie. So I backed up the information by presenting documented evidence, which was then deleted and was classed as being uh, cluttering. Not that it was not factual anymore, simply that it was cluttering. Yes? And the fact that when I pointed out that these people were perhaps in some way connected, and I asked for the true background of user ALR to be exposed, of which he actually did. He volunteered that he did in fact work for the RAF and had worked at Rudlow Manor and other places. Well, the best part about this is he says he's worked for most of the places that I was actually interested in. And the best bit of all is that Wiki have agreed that it was unfair for me to ask for this information as it's considered outing, outing the person and their motives for why they're editing the way they are. So editing on one's personal beliefs, yeah, and having a personal standpoint, yeah, is not allowed on Wiki. It isn't allowed because Wiki is meant to be about secondary sources of information. I fell foul of actually putting up primary sources of research, which Wiki apparently doesn't want. So when editors edit based upon their personal biases and having worked for the military, or currently possibly still working for the military, which ALR wouldn't admit to, but he wouldn't disadmit to, yeah? He said, if I work for these people now, it is irrelevant. Right, okay, well, you're not and claiming that you don't work for them now. So if you do work for them now, the fact that you're removing this information from the web is in fact important. Because if you do work for them now, then your collusion in removing this information could be viewed as the public as censorship, which is what I've said from the start is that the military do not want this information about UFOs being investigated at RAF Redlow Manor being on the net. So, the fact that I brought this up has now led to me being lifetime banned from Wiki. And, because I have brought this up, not only has the fact that I brought this up been removed from Wiki, but all references in the historical logs relating to my bringing this up 
have apparently been deleted also it's referred to as being hidden hidden so that the normal user cannot tell that this disagreement has ever taken place and that the fact that I have brought into the open that user ALR does in fact work for Rudlow Manor and has been editing their information um, against the best wishes of probably the general population and that the user is a Freemason and calls upon fellow Freemasons to stand in his support in order to suppress other wiki users I think this is now proven I think this is now fairly well exposed and I think that um, it should give you a better idea about what you're dealing with on wiki because you cannot you cannot in any way shape or form look at the activities of another user in a suspicious manner wiki demands that you take all actions of other users in good faith well I'm sorry when a user like ALR is deleting information which is known in the public domain uh, it's available freely at the P public records office and has been written about in books and featured on television programs and talked about on radio programs this is widely known information if this widely known information which really is secondary information because it's been considered such by a consensus if that can't appear on wiki that's fucking censorship and I call a spade a spade it's censorship so I'm not going to waste any more of my time because I'm banging my head against a brick wall with people who will not listen because by this point now me having stated these things means that I am banned for life anyway so all I'm going to do is say a big fuck you to Wikipedia because you can't censor me on YouTube okay you might be have a little bit of power on Wikipedia to control the truth and remove the truth from the general public so that they cannot uh, see exactly what's going on you can do that yes that's government censorship you can do that and you can back those actions up but we know what's going on so fuck you Wikipedia fuck you very much